Well, now to a case of the dinosaurs that are providing a glimmer of hope for one Queensland community deep in the grips of drought. Fictional scenes like this have fueled a fascination with dinosaurs the world over. And in outback western Queensland, inside an unassuming tin shed, one tiny town is leaving a real-life footprint of Jurassic proportions. What we've got here is Australia's largest dinosaur, Cooper. So Cooper is a 30 metre long by six and a half metre tall titanosaur. And um, he is found just an hour and a half west of where the museum is. Fossils found by accident just beneath the surface around here have wowed the scientific world. The discoveries out in Naramanga are, are usually serendipitous. The great thing about having a museum in context out there in the region is that these these locals get to know what to look for and then the discoveries happen more and more and more thick and fast. The Eramanga National History Museum has been granted funding to expand. Welcome news for a community where other sources of income have been drying up. This area has been drought declared for years. We really think that these ma the material and the actual process of working on the bones is really quite a great thing for headspace, um, especially with people who are dealing with some mental illnesses that have been brought on from drought. We are just getting some rain here in Western Queensland, but it's probably a bit ambitious to have the raincoat on. What the people behind this dinosaur museum are hoping is that it's a source of employment, tourism and industry that isn't at the whim of the weather. Anna Henderson, ABC News, Aramonga.